Hello everyone, welcome to the session on Azure Data Engineer Certification. This is Damanang on this side and today in this session, I'm going to guide you on how to become a certified Azure Data Engineer and we're going to discuss the DP203 Azure Data Engineer Certification. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we move on guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Edureka channel and also click the bell icon to never miss out on any updates from us. Also guys, if you are interested in our certification training, do check out the link shared in the description box below. Now let's go ahead and get started with the agenda to understand what all we'll be covering in this session. So guys, we're going to start this session by first understanding who is a data engineer exactly. Once we're done with that, we'll move on and understand what are the Azure Data Engineer salaries, especially when you're aiming to become an Azure Data Engineer. And then understand the things you need to learn in order to crack the Azure Data Engineer certification, which we're going to discuss in details. Finally, we're going to discuss how we can get started with all these things that we're going to discuss in this session and become a certified Azure Data Engineer. All right, guys, so this is the agenda for today's session. I hope it's clear to you. Now, let's go ahead and start off with the first topic, which is who is an Azure Data Engineer and what does she do? So an Azure Data Engineer is a professional who specializes in the design, development, and maintenance of data infrastructure. The main focus is to ensure that data can be stored, processed, and analyzed effectively and efficiently. Now, in today's world where data is playing an increasing important role in decision making, the role of a data engineer is becoming more crucial. Now, a data engineer primary responsibility includes designing and implementing data storage system, data processing pipelines, and data analysis tools. Now, they work closely with data scientists and analysts to understand the data needs of an organization and to ensure that the data infrastructure can support these needs. They are responsible for ensuring data infrastructure is scalable, secure, and reliable. Now, one of the key tasks of a data engineer is to design and implement data storage system. This involves choosing the right data storage technology, such as database or cloud storage solutions, and ensuring that data can be stored in a way that allows for efficient retrieval and analysis. The data engineer must also take into account the size and complexity of the data, as well as the data access pattern to ensure that the data storage systems can handle the volume of data and the number of users. Another important aspect of a data engineer role is the design and implementation of data processing pipelines. This involves taking raw data and transforming it into a format that can be easily analyzed. Now, data engineer must have a strong understanding of data processing technology, such as Hadoop or Apache Spark, to implement these pipelines. They must also be familiar with the different data formats and data structures, such as the structured and semi-structured and unstructured data, to ensure that the data can be processed accurately and efficiently. Now, in addition to designing and implementing data storage and processing system, data engineers also play an important role in development of data analysis tools. They work closely with data scientists and analysts to understand the requirements and to develop tools that can help them analyze the data effectively. So these tools can include dashboards, reports, and machine learning models. So data security is another important aspect of a data engineer role. They must ensure that the data is secure and protected from an unauthorized access, theft, or loss. So this involves implementing data encryption, firewalls, and other security measures to protect the data. So they must also ensure that the data is stored and processed in compliance with privacy and data protection laws. A data engineer must also be knowledgeable about cloud computing and its various services such as Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. Now, cloud computing is becoming increasingly popular as a way to store and process large amount of data, and data engineer must be able to design and implement data storage and processing system that take advantage of these services. Finally, data engineer must have a strong problem-solving skills and to be able to work under pressure, they must be able to troubleshoot problems with the data infrastructure and identify and fix any issues that arise. Now, they must also be able to work collaboratively with other team members, such as the data scientists and analysts, to ensure that the data infrastructure support the data need of the organization. In conclusion, the role of a data engineer is crucial. In today's data-driven world, they are responsible for designing and implementing the infrastructure that enables organization to store, process, and analyze data effectively and efficiently. Now, they must have a strong understanding of data storage, data processing, and data analyst technology, as well as the ability to work collaboratively 
with other teams to support the data needs of the organization. Now, after this, I think you guys now have an idea about what a data engineer will do in his day-to-day -day life. Right now, let's move on and talk about what are the salaries of an Azure data engineer. So let's go ahead and also understand the average salary of a data engineer. So in the US, the average salary of a data engineer is $133,000. But remember guys, this is basically an average salary. So it can either be higher or lower than this amount. In India, the salary is around 6.5 lakh per annum. And the same goes for the Indian jobs as well, that the salary can be higher than this average package as well. And now a lot higher actually, and can be lower than this package as well. Moving forward, now that we are clear with who and what are the salary of an Azure Data Engineer, we shall understand the things that you need to know about the certification. So if you are applying for an Azure Data Engineer Associate, there used to be two exams that you have to give. One is implementing an Azure Data Solution, and the next exam is design an Azure Data Solution. Now, After clearing both these exams, it will give you the Azure Data Engineer Associate Certification, and these two exams basically have the code DP200 and DB201, right? But now this exam have retired on February 23rd, 2021. You guys can give just one exam to clear the data engineer certification. And this exam is DP203. So what they've done is they have clubbed both these exams and they have now included its syllabus in just one exam. And they're asking questions from it, right? So earlier you had to pay for two exam, prepare for two exam and give them. And then only you could get the certification. But now, just by passing one exam, you can clear out the data engineer certification, right? Now, as part of the new exam, the skill set has now been updated, right? So basically, these are the distribution of topics of how they will be covered in the exams, the questions, right? First of all, you will be asked most of the questions on design and implement data storage. Now, this is going to have 40 to 45 percent weightage. Now, there are some of the topics that fall under this category. That is, design a data storage structure. Design a partitioning strategy, design the serving layers, implement physical data storage structures, implement logical data structures, and implement the serving layer. After this, you will have design and develop data processing, which is of 25 to 30% of weightage. So you'll have ingest and transform data. You'll have questions on design and develop a batch processing solution. Then you'll have questions on design and develop a stream processing solution and manage batches and pipeline, right? Now, after this, we have the design and implement data security, which is of 10 to 15% weightage. Now, the question which comes on this topic falls as design security for data policies and standards, then implement data security. And lastly, you have monitor and optimize data storage and data processing, which is again 10 to 15% of weightage. Now, the question that falls under this category is monitor data storage and data processing and optimize and troubleshoot data storage and data processing. Now, if you are with me till at this point, you will have understood what are all the things that you have to learn in order to clear the exam and become an Azure Data Engineer, right? So like I said earlier, you now just have to give this DP203 exam to get the Microsoft Certified Associate Data Engineer certification, okay? So just one exam and now you will get the certification for it. Now, let's move on guys and now let's talk about how you guys can get started in clearing this exam, right? So we have mentioned a lot of things that you have to learn, but how exactly should you go forward and start learning these things? Now let's go ahead and clear that out. So first of all, guys, what you can do or what we can do for you is you can basically refer to a lot of blogs that we have written on or we frequently update videos on YouTube as well, such as this video, which has info about the engineering certification. Now you can also go ahead and check out a video which I have mentioned earlier on how to become an Azure Data Engineer which is there in the description box below. We frequently put out more videos for such topics. Now you can go through them and basically get a jump start into how you can prepare it, right? Now my recommendation to you will be to plan out your working plan hours after or before working shift of yours. You should spend at least three or four hours every day for the next two or three months in order to clear this certification exam. Otherwise, if you don't invest this much amount of time, guys, it is going to be difficult to crack this exam because there are a lot of things to learn and especially if you are not from a data engineering domain, it's going to be a little difficult because you'll have to read documentation, you'll have to do hands-on, right? You will get stuck, I know that, but being stuck is the most beautiful part of learning anything because that is when you start the actual research and know more about things, right? 
So spend at least two to three hours every day, either after your work shift or before your work shift to basically learn this technology, right? And now for those people who feel that they do not have the time or they do not want to invest time in researching and they want someone to help them out in getting this exam cleared, guys, we at Edureka also offer a course on Microsoft Azure Certification Training or the Azure Data Engineer Associate Certification course. We also have a master program as well, which is basically help you in clearing the Azure Data Engineer Associate Certification. So if you need a helping hand and you need someone or you need to be taught by someone who's already cleared this examination, and is already working as a data engineer in the industry, then this is the right course for you. So with this guys, I would like to take a leave from you all. If you have any doubts related to the topic or certification, you can always contact us or comment them down in the comment section below. All right, so thank you guys for joining in. Have a great day ahead and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!